Are you ready for a new operation? I am ready always. Do you require support? What? You're joking. Come on, let's go. I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. Alvin is not above torturing Angel if they find out he's with Dead Sick. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Nothing official, okay? I need to be off the books. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes. What is this shit? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep an eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. 
Fuck. This is nightmare place. The government is okay with the immigrants treated like this? Someone could go missing here and no one would notice in a million years. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Fuck! Mary Kelly and bad guys have their dirty hands in everything. Truth. Now, about your missing guy, the best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Go on, Badley. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skip on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. We lost them. Radio you know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking talks? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sec the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub.
Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favour of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Oh, stop the talking, Bugly. Jesus. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Good work. All citizens are required to give Albion personnel their complete cooperation. Persons on the premises must at all times carry valid identification and be prepared to present it to Albion personnel upon demand. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? They implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So they've implanted a microchip in Angel's neck. Hmm, a health monitor? A tracker, maybe? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Stay on his tail. Maybe he got away. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You 
Fuckers! Holy shit. They might make it. Get fucked up. We don't have a match yet. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. Well, that was unexpected. That microchip wasn't just a tracking device. Looks like it's been activated. I don't know how bad things are, especially with Mary Kelly in this, but Angel might be alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. 